Hi there, it's Bree Williams, the Behaviour Explainer with you again. Now, one of the questions I get most commonly is, I understand behavioural economics is out there, but how do I apply it to my business? At what points should I be looking to apply behavioural economics to my business? So, in this blog, I want to share the four areas that I believe behavioural economics has most application um, to. So, the first is when you are conceptualizing new ideas. So that's your research and development phase. So it can either be formal. So for instance, when you're commissioning new research or it might be informal when you're kicking around ideas and saying, well, you know, what can we do differently? That's an ideal time to think about embedding behavioral economics. It provides a new lens on your marketplace and on your um, products and services, for instance. The second is at the other end of the scale. So forget about research and development. We're right at the crunchy end of deployment. Now there's a window to use behavioral economics at the pre-deployment phase. So that's when you're about to press the button on a new website or a new campaign in market or a new product release. And you know what? You're just a little bit nervous. You're not sure that you've covered every angle that's when behavioural economics can provide that final sort of um, uh, audit or review of what you're about to do and anticipate any barriers and overcome them. There's also a very small window post-deployment, depending on what you're deploying, of course, where if things aren't going the way you expected, so your campaign isn't converting like you expected, or um, your product release hasn't um, hit its targets, we can also use behavioural economics to kind of refine what might be happening in the market. Let's look at the context. Can we, can we tweak a few of the elements, for instance, with language? That's, so that's two. We've got the research and development phase and we've got the deployment phase. There's also a business, and business as usual um, section. I'll let you read about that. And there's also another trigger around, hey, I just want to develop my staff. What's some new thinking? So I'll leave you to the blog. I hope it makes uh, sense. I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you again next time.